Good morning. This is your tip for the day. Uh, today I am going to show you how to properly wind your bobbin. Um, you can see the little, uh, this is your bobbin winder here. And um, this little screw here you can loosen and it will move. See, you see how it moves? This is how you uh, adjust and regulate how full your bobbin's going to be. Um, here's one that I have filled, and I have used it, but uh, I will take a bobbin that's th the way I want it filled, and I'll place it on here. Then I would, I will move this little teardrop how far I want it to be filled. If you move it up further, the more it'll be filled. The down be less. So I'm just going to adjust this to how full I want to to be and then I'm going to tighten the screw back. I guess I need to have my machine on. Then remove this bobbin. Now for the uh, thread itself I use a, a good uh, bobbin thread and I always put a uh, cone cover on it because when it's winding it winds so fast it pulls your thread off real fast and it uh, the tension on it will get loose so that's why your bobbin won't wind properly or tight and this is the proper way to uh, thread it you come up from the cone and from the, uh, the front you go from the front to the back of this little uh, loop here then you come down and from the back to that little hole, then from the front here, and then you go to your bobbin. And bear with me, let me set my camera down here. Uh, then you put your uh, thread on your bobbin. You can see uh, some, some bobbins have these little holes and some don't. Uh, if you do have one, uh, take your thread and put it through the little hole there and then put your bobbin on there then take your thread and go over to the little winder this has also got a screw on it that can kind of regulate your tension how fast and how tight that is going to go through there. If you think it's uh, a little too tight, just loosen it up. If you think it's too loose, um, tighten it down a little bit. Uh, then when you go to wind your bobbin, I have enough tail here that I hang on to. Then I push my bobbin winder up and start the bobbin. Once it's, it's going, then I stop it and I will clip my thread here. and then push your button and let it continue winding. You can make sure that it's winding all the way across your bobbin so it's going to wind smoothly and evenly and it's winding pretty well. It doesn't take long for this to, to wind. I think this is one of the fastest bobbin winders I have so I use it just to wind some of the bobbins. Let's see how full this is going to wind since I've reset the, the guide here. I know the people with the MB4S, they have to wind their bobbins and they're saying that they're not winding full enough. Well, this is how you do it, is uh, move the little tension guide here. And I promise to show you a sneak peek of the next video. Well, as soon as this is done, I will show you something that's going to look strange. Okay, this is almost finished, and that's quite full. And I think it's going to be a little bit fuller than what I want it to be. So I'm going to readjust mine. 
but here is the filled bobbin. It's quite full. It's on there nice and even. So if you're getting um, bobbins that are wound loosely or they're bunching up, try putting the, the cover on your thread and tightening your tension just a little bit so it's not just flopping around on your bobbin. And that's how you properly fill your bobbins. Okay, here is a little sneak peek of what's coming up. What does a wire hanger and an MB4 have in common? Well, I'll let you think about this and I'll show you later. Bye bye. Have a wonderful sew day.